Hi everyone. Um, there's a bit of a hack going around for the uh, Nespresso coffee pods, and uh, I thought I would um, just try it out for myself, really. And I found a better way to do it. Right. So anyway, let's just get straight into it. Uh, you can get these um, like fake capsules off eBay, and they are very expensive. Uh, for what they are, uh, you want to get five of the damn things. Um, they're not the best, but uh, they do the job quite well. But they are quite expensive. Uh, they, they've got the uh, barcode, uh, obviously running all the way around. Um, yeah, it does work well, um, but they, you only get the cap or the pod you don't get the foil top. Now, we've got the original Nespresso. Here we are. It's for the Virtuo machine. Um, this obviously comes with uh, really nice coffee. Um, but also, it, it, it's got the barcode telling the machine on um, temperature and um, and quantity of water. So here we are. This is one of my favourites. So um, yeah, that's uh, an alloy coat, an alloy film um, with uh, like a plastic coating on the inside. I think it is. So anyway, uh, these are very expensive, as anybody with a Virtuo machine uh, will confirm. Uh, but they are very good, and I do buy them. Um, but um, if, like me, you have other favourite coffees um, that you uh, want to put through your um, Nespresso machine, um, but basically you can't unless you can figure out a hack of how to do it. So, anyway, um, this is just, a, I suppose, an instructional video on how to get round it and, and not pay an exorbitant not pay an exorbitant price for these sort of fake Nespresso things. Although they're quite good, they're a lot of money for just a bit of plastic. So right, move them aside. So right, we'll get on with it. So this is the original Nespresso caps or pods and um, I think they're really good actually, <laughs> I think they're really good, but they, they certainly make an awful lot of money out of them. Right, so this is what we're aiming for, one of these. So rather than using these, there is a much cheaper way of doing it. Right, first of all, you need to get these foil lids. Okay, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so it's it's not very good. Um, I think I got about 120, and I think it was about 20 pounds that I paid for them. Uh, quite a lot of money, really, but it saves you a lot of money in the long run as well. So anyway, we're going to be using uh, one of these. So I've tried to set this up so I can do it all one-handed. Um, so anyway, here we go. Right, so here we have a used move that a used Nespresso pod. Here we are. Obviously with the barcode on it, because once it's been in the machine, uh, it comes out with just that on the top, obviously having been used. So first of all, you use a sharp knife. I use a scalpel like this, use a sharp knife, remove that one, and remove the top, and that's what you find inside. Okay, so there's the, the old foil lid, once it's been removed, so that's obviously, the lid is no use whatsoever now, so that can be thrown away, but the actual pod itself is very useful, because it has the barcode on the bottom. There I am tipping it all over the place. 
So you clean out the capsule pod. You clean out the pod and you end up with that. Now it's got the flat edge around the, around the top here, uh, which is um, quite important. And you, uh, wash it out, dry it, make sure it's really dry. And you've got the remainder of the um, the foil cap that was originally on there. Uh, don't try and get that off, just leave that on. It's a really good surface. So, right, so I'll put that just there for a second. So, once you've got your empty cap, then you can fill it with a coffee of your choice. So, there we are. This one is a vanilla coffee, um, which I bought off eBay. Uh, this, is a, this is another one that I've got here. This is a mocha orange um, gourmet coffee. This is quite nice. Um, got this from a, a company in Hull and they and they sell this on it on eBay so anyway nice coffee so once you've got your your coffee in your pod and you've got to make sure that um, I'm just going to use this as a pointer you've got to make sure that all around this rim you, you like this bit here there's a little bit of coffee there that spills into it so you want to make sure that's all nice and clean and dry. Uh, when it's clean and dry, you peel off the foil lid and you attach it. And you end up with that. So this is one that I've made up. Um, original Nespresso. Uh, but now contains non-original coffee. Now you press the lid on and make sure it's really sealed in properly. So this particular one gives a nice decent size cup of coffee um, and you have the barcode which corresponds uh, to the pod um, originally. So that's going to tell the machine the temperature and the uh, amount of uh, water to put through it. So we've then we've then gone through. We're not using these anymore because they're too expensive. You uh, obviously gone to that. So you clean that out. You end up with that. And you fill it with a coffee of your choice. You put a lid on it. Here's the lids. You put a lid on it and you end up with that. So, shall we go put this in the machine? And uh, excuse the mess, everything is upside down today. So, here's the machine. So, we just. I did preheat this. So, we're going to pop it open. That's very posh. Put it in its place, and we are good to go. It's reading the barcode. And voila, look at that, I did put pile in the sweeteners before the coffee goes in, I can't take sugar, <laughs> so sweeteners it is, and I can smell that now, this is a vanilla one, While that's kicking off, this is uh, what I've ordered and arrived. Don't cover the lens. And this is the coffee that I bought. And you can have it 
ground for cafetiere or the machine and I've, I have ordered it for the machine espresso so you can have it there filter ground cafetiere ground or the beans but this one's espresso very nice indeed may contain nuts just like the government so here we are And there we are, non-Nespresso out of a Nespresso machine. Uh, I already know how good this, is, this tastes, so it's wonderful. So I hope this is helpful to people who uh, want to try other coffees through their machine. Absolutely fantastic. So uh, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you like it and give it a try. I recommend this. So don't forget the foil caps come off eBay and those um, brown plastic things made in China. Yeah, not a big fan. I think I paid about 11 quid for five and that's just disgusting. So um, I had to find another way and you end up with lots of um, used coffee pods. So this is a quick way of doing it. And if you were trying to fake a friend, they, uh, they wouldn't have a clue that it wasn't an original Nespresso. So, yeah, when you put the coffee in, uh, make sure it's packed in nice and tight. And, uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, thanks for watching. And, um, I don't know, find another hack, I'll let you know. Bye.